Tasting like a boss indoor edition. I have Minerva McGonagall here. If you saw the thumbnail and if you see my outfit, you probably know why. Because you are the most Harry Potter named of all of our dogs. Yes, you are. She's so sweet. Now, if you hear some noise in the background, like clanging of spoons or anything like that, or people screaming, that's because the family is getting ready to go to a corn maze, or as the Native Americans refer to it, a maze maze. Hmm, witty. Anyway, uh, today we are tasting a coffee by a company that I have never actually had one of their products from. And it is a suggestion from one of our viewers, so thank you for the suggestion. I'm thanking you now. I don't know if it's going to be good or not. We'll find out. But it's by Expedition Roasters. And this one is Bewitching Butterscotch Beer. Now, you'll know it's cute. It's got the, the Gryffindor scarf. It's got Ravenclaw. I mean, I've been told this. I don't know this off the top of my head, right? Slytherin and, of course, Hufflepuff. And in the back, you have the colored writings as you explain the different attributes of the different schools. But you may say, well, that doesn't really look official. It's not. I looked on their side and Expedition Roasters does a lot of these things where they do art that sort of touches on themes, but doesn't necessarily cross into trademark infringement, which, you know, fine, I guess it's great. So it's not an official Harry Potter coffee. So if you're, that's what you're looking for, that's not what this is. Uh, but it's by a roaster who makes a lot of different flavors. Uh, and they do Disney ones based upon the different rides. And those aren't licensed either, but they're themed in a way that you can sort of gather what's coming. Oh, I'm blo am I blocking you? I'm sorry. I was blocking you. Okay. So it's going to be a butterscotch beer or a butter beer uh, flavor. So they couldn't use the term butter beer. So I'm going to be doing a three-way review. I'm going to be doing it in cold brew in a butter beer cup that I just so happened because I'm not a nerd. I uh, have espresso. I know I usually go in a different order, but here's the other one. Here's why. I'm also going to be doing it in drip. Yes, I'm sure everyone has seen one of these, but I think these are cool, especially because it's the it's a Marauder map cup. So let me show you. If you will, boss of boss, if you can bring me the, the, the stuff. This is boss of boss contributing. Thank you very much. So this is hot coffee, huh? From the drip. I'm gonna be pouring it in. And I'm hoping this is actually the right mug. I saw it, I think we have a couple of different <laughs> temperature reveal ones. It'd be neat if I poured this in and my little pony showed up. Yeah, ooh, I'm doing a nice big tall cup today. All right. And, okay, it is changing. Hey, again, it is the right one. Behold. Mmm. Look at that. I think it says Marauder's Map on your side. Yeah, check that out. Isn't that cool? I know you guys have probably already seen one of these like this before, but I think it's neat, this particular one, because it reveals itself, and it's a Marauder's Map, which has the attribute of revealing itself. So we're going to be doing it in drip as well. So... Let's move into the smelling, okay? Oh, and it's a medium roast uh, coffee. You can smell butterscotch notes, but uh, as is the case with a lot of the flavored coffees, there's some um, artificial smell to it. And I think this is probably artificially flavored. It doesn't really give me a lot of detail on that really, but I would imagine that must be the case, but it smells good. And I will tell you when I brewed the coffee, it made the house smell like it too. So that's good. All right, moving to the cold brew. Here we go. In the butter beer cup or mug, tasting like a boss. Smells like butterscotch as I put my nose to it. And it, it tastes like butterscotch too. It's a really high bar. Um, if you've ever watched my other videos, I really like Highlands Grog by Bones. I think that's an exceptional coffee. And that's a butterscotch rum coffee. Really good flavor. This is right up there with it. So they're, they're comparably priced. Mm. And like I said, I'm in, I'm in the, uh, the boss's diner right now, as you can tell. Order up. All right. Mmm. Here comes some more noise. All right, here we go. So it does taste like butter beer. Doesn't it just taste like butterscotch? I've actually had the butter beer at Universal and it tastes like it. So well done. I give that a big thumbs up already. It's worth the purchase. So thank you viewer for the suggestion. Let's move to the, uh, the drip. Oh, I love you too. All right, Minerva, hold on. Let's give this a smell. More coffee notes. There's a butterscotch smell, but it smells like almost like it smells like melted, like hot butterscotch. So it's working so far. Tasting like a boss. 
Butterscotch flavor is there too. I mean, it's always gonna be different when you go from cold brew to drip. So it may not be as intense because you know, comparatively so because of brew, but it tastes like butterscotch. Uh, it tastes a little like burnt butterscotch because it's a little bit hotter. I didn't let it cool at all. You saw me pour it directly from the, the, uh, the pot and I didn't put anything in it, which I normally don't, but that's worth it too. So if you're just getting it for drip, worth it. And then finally, we're gonna be going to the espresso, okay? What you think? Ooh, okay. It smells like butterscotch as well. We have a trifecta of smell. That doesn't always happen. All right, tastes like a boss. And it's pleasant. Okay, it did something that uh, Highlands Grog did not. I believe in Highlands Grog, I think I liked the, the cold brew. I kind of liked the drip and I wasn't for the espresso, but this is actually a flavor. Hey, that's really cool. Okay, I got the cold brew, thumbs up. I have the drip, thumbs up. And not just okay, like it's really good. And the espresso, really good too. So this is my first uh, journey. Oh, hello. This is my first journey into anything by Expedition Roasters Coffee Company. You can get them online, their uh, website, and I don't work for them or anything. www.expeditionroasters.com. And uh, yeah, it's cute. It may not be official Harry Potter art, but you know what? It doesn't always have to be. But check it out. And more importantly, if you like coffee, it's good coffee. So hey, hit like, subscribe, share. Thank you. We're almost at 400 viewers. I think it's close to it. So that's, that's awesome. I can't believe we have like 400 viewers and people who mostly just like coffee. And I have some other videos I want to post as well. Um, we did two kind of stupid ones yesterday. Uh, it was very salty, very, well, it's not spicy, but sour. You'll see them. But until next time, people, I'm off to my maze maze, and you guys have a great fall. You'll be getting some more later this month. And keep tasting like a boss.